guys, we are so excited to be here today for our Hollywood Life podcast and our Facebook Live all at once here with, yes, with Peta Murgatroyd, Hi, well known. Yay! Bonnie, we just discussed the pronunciation and you, and you, you blew it. I did? Peta, not Peta. Peta. You no, see, you're fine. No matter what. Yeah, Peter. Peter, Peter. Let's not let's, 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 let's get this interview rolling. So we're so excited that you're here today because we are huge dancing with the and we've been covering Dancing with the Stars for years and seasons and watched you. And of course, you congratulations. You had a great season last season. You, you won. Yeah. I mean, that was, it was a crazy season. I mean, you guys know that was with Niall DeMarco. He's 100% deaf. He can't hear anything. And he was just such an amazing advocate for the deaf community. And it really just opened up people's views. It of, totally did. Really, right? And I mean, what he could do on the show was just incredible and what we could accomplish so it was it was a season that I'm so proud of well we were so proud of you and Niall because you did an amazing job I mean because it couldn't have been easy to train Niall you had to learn like you had to learn both to communicate Absolutely. and yeah. and to um like both communicate and in dance terms and and then how to how to find a way that was best to work for him. Had yeah. he liked dancing before? He had never danced before. So yeah. that was the other thing that was, I think, very appealing about him. But um, you're right. It was it was pretty difficult to start with, actually. We had an interpreter in the room the whole time. And he became, you know, one of our one of my greatest friends. He's he's amazing. And um, it was kind of like a trio feel for the whole season. It wasn't just Niall and I, because he was literally Niall's voice for the whole season. And, um, you know, at first I would look at the interpreter when he was speaking and I, it was, I felt so um, bad and rude for that. I had to like train myself to look at Niall when he's not saying a word, but the voice is coming from behind me. So there were little things that we had to get used to in the beginning. And obviously we had um, strategies for how to get through the dance. Like I would sort of scratch him on his back to go faster. If he was oh, interesting. Down, because I had no way of talking to him while we were out there and that's something else that was so different right. does he lip read yes he does but, but it would be hard to do while you're dancing absolutely and you don't want to show that you're you're speaking your partner you know talking him that's the right dance. so yeah but um all of those things just made me a better teacher it was actually like an amazing season <laughs> he did so good and so did you so whatever um your trio the true approach just works so well. Yeah. And, of course, you were also challenged because you were pregnant for part of the season. Or was it the whole season that you were pregnant? I was pregnant for, um, I think, eight weeks out of the ten weeks. So wow. it, was, it was really challenging. <laughs> and I didn't find it out until... Max out. Max out. Like, couldn't you wait? <laughs> Did you, could you tell something in retrospect? Like, oh, yeah, that's why. Like, well, what do you mean? You mean like, were you having like any trouble? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, I would walk into the um, to the dance studio and I would have these hot flashes and I would tell everybody to open up all the doors, open up all the windows right now. It's like, <laughs> I am sweating and I hadn't even danced yet. So. He does here, I'm hot. <laughs> I was like, I'm boiling. <laughs> That's but, the first thing that I realized. But did you, when you, okay, so you're pregnant for eight out of the 10 weeks, but was it? I'm like, did you know you were pregnant? Was it an accident? Had you been trying? And no, you... it was an accident. Wow. So you didn't but, even I mean, know at first yeah. what was going on. I can't say an accident sounds bad. <laughs> but, um, unintentional. Unintentional. And, um, you know, obviously it's not the the most viable thing to deal with when you're on the show to be pregnant. I mean, we, we were, I was taking toilet breaks literally every, every hour. And I always said, what is wrong with her? Like she just went like, just little things like that. But also the exhaustion of the whole thing right. was just incredible. Like I, I would take naps in between our um, dancing rehearsals and he would be laughing at me. And Niall didn't actually know what was happening until week um, 
this, I think it was a semi-final. When he oh, came my gosh. Me, and he was like, I know your secret. <laughs> ah, he guessed. <laughs> he guessed because. When did you I find out, out, though? How far along into the season did you find out? I found out week um, three or four. I think four. So, yeah. I mean, that's fairly long. So it, it was a couple of weeks in. Yeah. So you were probably wondering, why am I so tired? And yeah, why was, do I have to keep peeing? Right. And, and I was like, this is not me. I must be like really getting sick or something. And um, then it all just hit me. And I realized what was going on. It was crazy. <laughs> when you told what, what was Max's reaction when you told him? Um, funny story. He was actually at a golf um, tournament with Tony, you know, Tony Davalani. Yes. 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 He's been a bit, he's come to our podcast. Oh, cool. Um, So they were there together and I phoned him in the morning. I found out at like 8 a.m. and I had to be at rehearsal by 9 a.m. So I had to get my whatever together and put my... shit together is what you mean. Yeah. That's (laughs) it. And I called him and I was like, do you, do you want to know like a secret, something really cool? (laughs) It's like... Yes, and I said, I'm pregnant. Yay. And because I've like thought I was pregnant before, he wasn't really phased by it. So he was like, No, you're not. Like, oh, he thought you're joking. Stop kidding me. You're Have fine. you ever pulled that you're joke fine. though? Because I've had that joke pulled at me. That joke. Oh, me, really? You know? Say, Real that funny, ladies. Real funny. Yeah. <laughs> For you, it definitely wouldn't be funny. No. <laughs> no. Um, but he he slowly cottoned on to the fact that I was actually really serious, and I started crying on the phone. Aww. And he was like, "Oh my god!" But he was in a car full of boys going to the golf tournament, so he wanted to act kind of cool, you know, <laughs> and not be like. Uh, to jump up and down, down. <laughs> jumping up and down and like crazy. So he's like, babe, I want to keep this a secret. I'm going to call you back. And I'm like, what? I just got to play, <laughs> <just gotta> play <laughs> a quick 18 with the boys. Then, right. we, then we can talk about this. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. but then, then we got the conversation going after like an hour after he could get out of the car. So yeah. It's good. Man, oh, nothing, nothing interrupts a man in his in his golfing day, right? Like yeah. there there is no news that can dissuade a man from going golfing. Yeah, really? So is um and and so he must have been though once he was out of the car and away from the guys, like so excited. Oh my god, he was ecstatic. Like he's been wanting kids since he was like twenty three years old. Really? So, really? Yeah, for this, yeah, he's always wanted to be a dad. So. Now, were you engaged at the time? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm asking this because I know our, you know, not all of our viewers and listeners will kind of know your whole story. Yeah. So you yeah. were already engaged. Yeah, so December you... we got engaged. And then we found out in April, early April. What a scandal. So, yes, scandal. Peter's pregnant. Ooh. <laughs> <So> romantic. <laughs> has this, has this so, happened, has... Has this happened, though, on the show before to any of the other professional dancers? I think it happened to one of the contestants. That they fell pregnant yes. during the show? Yes. Oh, Max, the no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Bonnie, Hopefully not for Max. Bonnie, Bonnie, yeah. Stop starting rumors. That never um, happened. Well, we had some professional dancers who have had babies. You know, Alison Holker, she just had her second, and she finished her run um, with um, Andy Graham. So she was pregnant during while she was dancing too. And she got up to like being three months pregnant or something while she was there. So, yeah. Are you excited to have a dancing super baby? Like, so you think you can dance (laughs) in in like 13 years or so? Watch out, right? (laughs) Super excited. No, I don't know what he's going to be like. Like, I just hope that he has a little bit of rhythm, you know, he doesn't disappoint us. I'm sure you must have felt him already like (laughs) tap dancing away inside there. Oh my gosh. I'm. I kid you not, on the way here to this interview, he was kicking my rib cage like no other. Like, he doesn't just, like, kick it like a, and then retract it. He keeps it and extends his point. Well, I mean, Max has and got those long legs. I know. And in our last um, in our last baby scan, ultrasound, he's actually got very long legs that he keeps saying to us. Oh, you see? So, yeah. You see? He's got daddy's legs. And, I daddy's mean, you legs. have gorgeous long legs, too. Have you announced Thank the you. baby name yet? Have we said that? No. It's a secret, but we know it's a boy, so yes. that's, that's a scoop. Well, it's a short name. There you go. <laughs> oh, so she's really tempting us. <laughs> Come on, you could break the news here. Max Jr.? Can you imagine? That's a short name. Yeah. yeah. Max and Jr. Yeah. Just M-A- well, M-A- well M-A- Max, Max is four letters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just going to be Max. Uh, Jim, Bob, Joe, <laughs> no, Tom. No. Those are the short Bob's ones. Bob's safe. I like Bob. 
Like Bob Dylan. That's very sad. Or, Bob yeah. sounds Bob's very burgers. Australian, and of course you're Australian. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Bob. No, oh. that, that's English, right? Oh, God. <laughs> There's your Bob or something. <laughs> so um, he, well, it would seem that, you know, with the two of you, with your background, that this child is definitely going to have fantastic dance genes. Now, didn't you start dancing when you were four years old? Yes, I did. I did, um, I started off with ballet, and I did that for 12 years. Um, I was like really under the pump, but it was serious ballet training. Like at four, four life, at four. Well, I mean that was kind of the fun stage. I guess four to like six, six onwards, you had to apply to this like incredible graduate school of dance, like in Australia. And um, we, I was training to be a prima ballerina, literally all my life. So that's so, what you wanted to do. Yeah, that that was my dream at first, <laughs> <laughs> and then everything changed. So, well, so do you think, we, how can your child start dance lessons earlier than four? <laughs> <laughs> they can. But as I soon mean, as they start walking? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to be one of those stage moms, though. I'm going to hold myself back from doing, you know, some of these these ones and standing up and, you know, making a fool of yourself. So, But, uh, I mean, this child already could have a gig on Dancing with the Stars. Like, it's already, we're you know. planning out its whole life already. <laughs> no. Let the child have its own choices, Bonnie. Let it live its life. Can we? We have to mention something really quick, though. Is that you have a line of self tanner that is, is launching now? What yes. I what I like about this is that I, the Australian ladies are known for their skin pre preserving techniques. I feel like it was like Nicole uh, Kidman and Naomi Watts who like first beautiful skin really popularized yeah. in Hollywood, like staying out of the sun and sunscreen. And obviously, this is a great alternative to laying in the sun and roasting and ruining your yes. looks, right? Well, and you know, a lot of people in Australia do lie out in the sun a lot, but you have beautiful skin, so it oh, looks like you've you. taken care of your skin. Yeah, I've actually got that from my mom. She used to put moisturizer on my face so much as a child every day for school, and she would just make us wear hats all the time and sunscreen, and, you know, it's it's the harsh sun out there in Australia. It's the worst. So, that's true. So that's why you probably felt that it was so important to yes. have tanning mist Absolutely. and dry bronzing oil. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's nothing worse than when you see those cases of skin cancer and stuff like that come up. I mean, it's yeah, that's really big scary. in Australia. Huge. And yeah, even with the self-tanning beds here in the States. I oh, mean, yeah. It's very dangerous. So this is obviously the safe way to go. And, you know... Not, um, yeah, not that people care, but there's been new research that's shown that tanning beds are more carcinogenic than cigarettes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. But they're definitely very, very dangerous. Now, your brand is called Peta Jane, your, yes. your collection. How do people find it? You can find it on my website on petajanemergatroy.com. I know that's a mouthful, um, but it's very simple when you spell it out. Bonnie, do not <laughs> attempt. <just>, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, yeah, you can find it there, and there, um, there's a list on that um, on the website of where um, which stores you can buy them into. But it's it's pretty easy to get them. But you to it. But can you, so you can, so can you buy them from your website? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, so that's Straight easy. Bed. Yeah, very easy. Okay. Good. So, thank you. Well, we'll be you know, slathering ourselves in self tanner right after this. <laughs> Maybe we'll post some photos. I would love a tan. I have well, Seriously, it would work on you though. Look how like, pasty this face is. But we, we, it's we've, we've tanned some Irish girls before and they look amazing. Really? Okay. Yeah. White, white. Are you wearing it right now? Um, no, I'm not actually. No, I didn't because I'm all covered up. So oh, there was I no see. reason to cover okay. it. Also, it's today. winter. Like, you want to match your skin to the season, right? Well, no. Or no. No. But you still want to have that have. winter glow. Right. Like, yeah. Healthy glow. Well, you have the yeah. pregnancy glow. You can't have two glows going on at once. <laughs> that's, that's, that's too many glows. I want all the glows. Okay. <laughs> I'm with her. I want all the glows, too. <laughs> so, uh, just getting back to the show for a second because, you know, any woman who's been pregnant, I've been pregnant, and can relate because. We know how tired you get when you're pregnant. Yeah. How the, how the hell did you get through it? Like, I know napping and everything, but still, you were out on stage. I watched you perform. I saw you with Niall. You were moving, like, so fast. Yeah, without any caffeine, mind you. Like, I oh, that's caffeine right. in week four. And it was the worst thing I've done in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, it was the hardest thing to give up. You can't have any caffeine when you're pregnant? Well, you, can, you can have some, just not too much. What Listen, about caffeine say, pills? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. You will not be getting pregnant. What about Ritalin or so something like that? Just a little bit of Ritalin? Just Crush it up? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Just a little, you know, aspirin as well. Um, no, it was it was really, really challenging. And um, I, I, again, as I said, I would take naps. Max would bring me food to rehearsals. Yeah, because you get really hungry. Yeah, but then I would be nauseous and I'd be, you know, <laughs> trying not to throw up during Niall's dance. And then 
Um, also, the funny thing was I had to try and squeeze into my dresses and I was oh, getting yes. bigger by the minute. And yeah. I'm not exaggerating. Like, the water weight came immediately. Huge boobs, ass. And Bonnie, I think I need to date a pregnant woman. This is all sounding great to me. A lot of naps, eating, and then the water weight. Beautiful. I mean, Listen, you look gorgeous. Like, thank you. But people saw it. For it. And glow. And, and glow. Don't forget the glow. If there's any yeah. pregnant women out in the audience, hit me up. At Gina Orlandina on Twitter. I'm here for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't come running. Okay. Okay, Gino. This isn't about you. We want to... Oh, right. We're interviewing yes, a celebrity. Sorry. Right. I didn't mean to make this about me and my dating life. I, I want to hear more from, about PETA. Okay. Food. Food, food, naps. Um, what else got me through? How do you, um, can you can you uh, tell me your nap, your nap strategy? Because I'm I'm very <laughs> very into napping. How do you sneak away and, and get a nap during your work day? Because I, I would like to sneak away during my work day and get a little nap without Bonnie seeing. So how how do I do this? <laughs> You've got to be very strategic. I mean, I my eyes would slowly be closing, yeah. like literally be half open, and Niall would say are you okay? Do you need to rest? And I'll be like, yes, thank God. Let me rest, please. <laughs> so I go over to the couch and lie down and boom, it's done. Yeah. Can you, that, would, that, that happens when you're pregnant. Can you conk out? Or yeah. You just conk out. Conk out. Really? Yeah. That wow. happens when you're pregnant. But I mean, just think about it. You still won. You won that silver ball <laughs> yes. despite that. So for all you women out there who think you can't be pregnant and do your job and do everything, yeah. here is an incredible example. <laughs> That's now, nice. I'm just amazed you skip. Who, who are those women who think they can't do anything when they're well, pregnant? I don't know that. It's, listen, pregnancy is hard. You are you do get nausea, and you do get really tired, and you get really hungry. It's hard. And you can't so. take anything for the nausea, right? So it's like double whammy. It's not that you can... Yeah, you can't take any drugs. Weed is legal I mean, in California, but you, do you can't it. do it. <laughs> you can't. No, you can't. And so, yeah, I'm surprised you took this season off. <laughs> well, I mean, can you imagine if I went out looking like this? <laughs> that's, oh, that's that'd be very interesting. Yes. So did they? Did the people who did the costumes know what was going on, or were they just like, "What's going on here? Why?" Yeah. I eventually told them because yeah. everything was getting tight, and I lowered all my hemlines. Because so <laughs> you know what we usually wear on the show. I mean, it's like almost it's nothing. Almost yes. nothing. So I was getting, you know, I was getting a little conscious about it, self conscious. So um, I lowered everything, pulled everything up because <laughs> these guys were getting so big. And just just sort of compacted everything in, <laughs> but yeah, I had to tell them, and they were obviously super excited. But then nobody else knew. So. Oh, I see. When did you reveal the news? I, I mean, at the three month mark was pretty much. So after the silver ball was won, yes, and afterwards. then everyone's like, "Oh my God, she yes. did that! Yes, she did that! <laughs> Incredible! Thank you." So when? What are your plans though? Are you going to go back to the show? I would love to. Yeah, I mean. We're just going to see how everything kind of pans out. I mean, I'm in New York now with, with Max um, and the family until, you know, mid-February, maybe Is this March. where the baby's going to be born? Yes. Yes, we're born here. And um, good uh, good place. Yeah. Have a baby. I mean, the next season starts like February 20th or something. So it's going to be pretty tight. And the, uh, our baby's going to be like seven weeks old, eight weeks old. So, At that time. Yes. Oh, so to fly back to LA and to, to get back into it, I mean, right. it's going to be a lot. But Would you yeah. be interested in just being a mom from, from here? Or would you, do you feel like you want to just keep working and keep busy? And or? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to think when I when I become a mother. But right now, yeah, absolutely keep working. Really? Like, okay. I haven't really... I haven't fulfilled all my dreams and stuff like that, so I, okay. I, I want to I wanna keep what going. Are, what are some of those dreams? Yeah, we want to hear. I want to act. Like, oh. to put it bluntly, I want to act. I want to get into TV. You know, I, I would love to do Chicago on Broadway. I love singing. Um, oh, so there's, like, things that I want to conquer before. What do you what, – what kind of stuff do you like? Like, when you watch – when you see the landscape of TV, which has changed so much, what do you see out there that you really like, that you'd love to audition for or be a part of – or something that's – like, would you, would you want to maybe be a character in Westworld? I know Bonnie loves Westworld. Yes, I love Westworld. I'm, I'm not caught up right now. <laughs> oh, you're not? No. I okay, mean, well, I'm... we won't give you any spoilers. Okay. No, I love, I love like, the drama, the nitty-gritty stuff. I love Ray Donovan. I would love to play, like, a badass chick in something. Um, That's probably shot know. here, so maybe you just have to hang out here. Yeah. <laughs> just keep auditioning for it yeah. until I get it. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, I love to be funny and sarcastic, too. So, I mean, I'm willing to give anything a try. Right have now. you done cool. acting yet no no i mean i've been in acting lessons for a year or so like private lessons but um yeah i've never actually um had something because we're always working right? how's your how's your because i know this is a big thing for australian actors how is your american accent can you can you give us a little example because they're gonna make you do this you know it <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say um how about a coffee 
<laughs> do you want a coffee? Do you want a coffee? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, 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 coffee? Isn't that <laughs> Jesse? from New York. Oh, oh, it's coffee, coffee. 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 Yeah, it's good. Yeah, um, I, I need to practice that. <laughs> so you so you can, you've practiced accents, like American accent is... I mean, as much as one can. When I'm out, I just listen to how they how they enunciate their words and, and what... Um, how they how they say certain things and you know it's it's difficult i'm not gonna lie because you're so used to saying it another way yeah and this and the australian accent sounds so great too you think i, mean, I do i love no. it i, I love the, it i need I, I mean maybe yeah you could just have them like write the parts for australian that would be an australian yeah. character yeah. because you sound fabulous oh thank you yourself but, or whatever i have the australian version of surrey on my phone just because I, like, <laughs> I like i like the accent <laughs> you know what i mean i like the english accent i like that one too it's good. So when you're doing the show, and I mean, it's supposed to be from everything we hear. I mean, it's just totally consuming while you're on it. Between totally. all the rehearsals and then going and then yeah, performing on Monday and Tuesday night. But do you get like, do do people come and spot you like for acting? Is there an opportunity to be seen? Or do you think that that's a great showcase people? I think it's a great showcase. Yes. But you get very pigeonholed with this um with this world of dancing so and because it's reality tv as well um you know i've been to a few castings and you know um a few meetings with agencies and stuff like that and it's very hard for them to get past the fact that you are a dancer on a reality show so you really need to sort of step away from that limelight and that that career path for a while to set yourself on another one to be an actor yeah. wow that's so unfair i hate this pigeonhole thing because- i know it is a little unfair because you want to you you know you can't get anywhere without somebody giving you a try, right? Mm-hmm. You'll go. It reminds me of those reports where Kim Kardashian got denied a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame because she's a reality star. It's like such an old fashioned mindset. It's like so, like the, one of the biggest celebrities in Hollywood is like not worth a star because she's not in movies, which no one goes to anymore. It's like silly. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's crazy. But she, I think she got one. Oh, she did yeah, eventually. I, I she think she that, did. She got that yes. resolved. Okay, yes. that, uh, old yeah. news. But it did happen, right? There was some hiccup. Yeah, there was some hiccup. Some little bit of snobbery in her direction. I think that's so silly. So, Peter, what silly. are you doing now to keep in shape? You look fabulous. Thank you. Um, well, I have... She's haven't... carrying around like, a baby <laughs> in her stomach, so that's for one, Walking right? Walking upstairs can... is hard enough, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I try to get to the gym as much as I can for the past three weeks. I will be honest, I haven't been because... I've been very tired, but before then, and maybe tomorrow I'll start again. Okay. That'll be my Kickstarter. And when you go to the gym, what are you doing now? Um, A little bit of light weights and mostly just on the treadmill walking and on the stepper machine. So nothing too intense. You can't raise your heart rate above right. 40. Right. So. so you can't do any dancing. No, no, no. no, no. That would it's too much feel... twisting. Like, you right. Know, it's, it's not good for him. How much do you so. squat, bro? I squat whatever the baby is. (laughs) Yeah, that's enough. Um, And so, in terms of getting back to, well, in general, I've always wondered just because you guys look so incredibly in shape when you're performing, what kind of a routine do you have to do to keep that, like to keep your muscle tone, to keep your speed, dexterity? The dancing is so much cardio in itself that we usually don't have to do extra cardio, but if you want to, tone up a little bit more and build muscle somewhere which you know usually the girls don't but we would go to the gym and do light weights or um i love hot yoga we do that pilates amazing and boxing boxing is like the best thing i think for my arms that i've ever had wow so don't it's sorry too, but Gigi hadid loves it that's how she's getting in shape for the victoria's secret bash show coming up in yeah, december she is. it's like it's, it's hard too oh she's my really god very so hard. Hard. yeah yeah i go oh hit the heavy bag at the gym and i'm dead after like a minute it's like sprinting it's like yeah. sprinting with yeah, your arms really hard. It? Yeah. it is totally that's a good way to put it now in terms of um max and val um so is val like, uh, are you guys really close, the three of you? Yeah, you too more? close. Oh, <laughs> we're too close. We're very close. We all live together right now. Oh, really? <laughs> In LA, we've lived together for years. So three's coming. Really? I feel like, yeah. I feel a reality so show coming. Is he gonna? Is he gonna move out after you get married? Oh, I think he's gonna move out soon. Yes. Well, either either one of us is gonna move out because that's, that just gets weird after a while. We've got a baby. So. <laughs> well, he, can, he can babysit though. He's not doing anything. Well, he's that's free. True. Yeah, he's going on tour though with the with the Dance with the Stars tour, so um, he'll he'll be out. Um, but so you, you know, get we rid love of him it. for a few months. Yeah, <laughs> but we love it. Here we have our house by ourselves. 
So, um, but he's he's amazing to live with. He's he's so much fun. Is it weird dating? I mean, sorry, being engaged to a man who has also has a really hot brother. Is that kind of like? <laughs> Aren't you like, oh, Matt, Matt's kind of cute, too. Like, and he's also oh, right. Which one should I choose? This is, well, this wait, is so nice. It's, not, and, it's just what, good scenery, is all know, I'm saying. But it's, Val's it's, been hanging out with Amber Rose, his partner from yes, this year. Yes, he has. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, are, is, are things happening? I don't know how far along things are happening. I have no idea, honestly. How far along? I mean, she's pregnant too? <laughs> yeah, she. Can you imagine? <laughs> she, uh, wow, she's yeah. the. You know. How to start a rumor? <laughs> no. I'm kidding, yeah. obviously, kidding. Yes, but they're kidding. dating, right? Like, obviously, they're dating. I, I don't know if we should call it dating. I've got no idea. I really don't. I, know that I totally, totally get it. <laughs> just, Not dating. Yeah, but they're I mean, just, they're they're just hanging out. you guys have seen it. They yeah. have been out and about together. So they so have fun. So they really hit it off. Yeah, they, they really really like each other God, I love yeah, Amber she's, Rose. she's awesome she's, i gotta tell you she is such a fun chick she's so cool i'm so glad max got her to dance with this season because like she's just awesome she is so with. funny her tv show i feel like if you've seen her show it really brought out another side of her you can see how hilarious she is and how mm-hmm. just like she has kind of a dirty mind and she's sort of willing to say anything and she just goes there and well just, that i think we were aware of yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, she's, she's the best yeah she's she's a, a great feminist leader too like she really yes. stands for like high morals for, for women so it's she really did good. she get you up for the slut walk or she yeah gets, yes. yeah we went there we supported her did you and, um, yep good for yep. you do you how do you feel about that work because amber loves it obviously she wants to own it and sort of like i don't know take away its, its power do you do you support that yeah, I think I support that. I mean, I think it's a harsh word. I think that, you know, it anyone getting called a slut these days, it's a horrible feeling and nobody wants to be. Um, well, you know, you know. The, I like that she's turned it, she's taking it and and um, turning it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's he's always one of the kids, so it's But it's, it's fine to go exciting. to the class. Yeah. I mean, I might as well check it out once. Yeah, go check about. it out. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely go check it out. It's just having, I've had four kids, so. Wow, good for you. <laughs> I can, you. you look amazing. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> but it's like the moment those labor pains start and it really gets going, you forget about all that breathing. <laughs> tell me more, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Can't remember that part. But it all comes out okay. Yes. Okay, well, listen, we're going to let you go, but. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we don't we're have to. Fun. We can <laughs> keep you here. But just so that people don't forget, we've got this fabulous Pita Jane tanning mist and bronzing oil. And it is yes. available on PetaJaneMurgatroyd.com. That's where you can get your tan on. And it's going to catch your tan on and keep your skin gorgeous like this lady's skin. Glowing. Yeah. Glowing. Yes. That's the only way I can describe it. Glowing. Just glowing. Thank you, guys.